Hi, I'm Keith Lusinski with the Petzl Technical Institute. In this tech tip video, we'll cover the thorough inspection protocol for the Grion adjustable lanyard. The Petzl Grion is an adjustable lanyard designed to be used for work positioning in conjunction with a separate personal fall arrest system. It can also be used for horizontal lifelines and easily adjustable anchors. As with all Petzl equipment, we always recommend a cursory pre-use inspection and pre-use function check. We also recommend a thorough inspection once every 12 months and after exceptional events. However, your intensity of use may dictate that you do thorough inspections more frequently than once every 12 months. To start my inspection, I wanna make sure I'm in a well-lit area. I have my inspection procedure form printed from Petzl.com, as well as having a large flathead screwdriver and also a number one posit drive screwdriver. If you try to use a standard number two Phillips, you'll likely strip the screws in the captive positioning bar and the Grion body. To begin the inspection, I'll check for the presence and legibility of serial numbers on the Grion body and the lanyard end. Because the lanyard is replaceable, it will have a different serial number than on the Grion body. Checking the serial number, it's a good time to check that the lifetime of your product has not been exceeded. Because the Grion body is a metallic product, it has a potentially infinite lifespan. The rope lanyard, however, is textile and has a maximum lifespan of 10 years from the date of manufacture. You can find the date of manufacture within the serial number if your product is manufactured before 2019. After the middle of 2019, we began marking our products with explicit dates of manufacture. In that case, you can use the date of manufacture that's explicitly marked to refer to whether your product has exceeded its lifespan. To begin, we'll inspect the lanyard ends. Start by removing the connector and sliding the protective cover back. With the protective cover, inspect for cracks and any other damage. On the safety stitching, make sure to look at both sides and look for cuts, abrasion, loose stitches, or any other damage. Also inspect the inside of the eye for any damage. On the opposite end of the lanyard, we'll use the large flathead screwdriver to remove the plastic screw. Again, slide the protective cover back. Inspect the cover for cracks or any other damage. And again, inspect the safety stitching for cuts and other damage. Next, we'll inspect the whole length of the lanyard. To do that, we'll need to remove it from the body of the Grion. This is where you'll use your number one positive drive screwdriver. If you have a captive positioning bar, on the Grion body connector. We'll use the screwdriver to remove the two small screws. Remove the positioning bar from the connector. and then remove the connector from the Grion body. We have one more screw to remove in the face plate of the Grion with the same screwdriver. Now we can open up the face plate of the Grion and remove the rope lanyard. We'll need to swing this black plastic piece out of the way now I'll do a full tactile and visual inspection of the whole length of the rope. We're doing a visual inspection to check the condition of the sheath for cuts, burns, abrasions, or any other damage to the sheath. 
We're doing a tactile inspection to check the condition of the core for bumps, hourglassing, or any other inconsistencies. If necessary, retire the lanyard and replace it with a Grion replacement lanyard. The connectors that we've removed aren't being addressed as part of this tech tip video. For full information on the thorough inspection of your connectors, please find the relevant documents on Petzl.com. Next, we'll inspect the body of the device. Begin by looking at the overall appearance of the device, looking for cracks, deformation, or other damage. Also, inspect the moving side plate and ensure that it opens and closes smoothly. Inspect the cam groove for excessive wear, and also pay attention to this rope groove down here for dirt or other debris that may have accumulated. Check the condition of the handle return spring to make sure it operates smoothly. Also inspect the attachment holes. Especially for burrs or any other damage. Finally, inspect the rivets for damage. Once I've finished inspecting the body, I can reinstall the rope lanyard. Make sure to install the rope lanyard in the correct orientation. Close the faceplate and install the locking screw. Next, we'll reinstall the carabiner on the body of the device. And also reinstall the captive positioning bar. Finally, we'll reassemble the lanyard ends. Slide the protective sheath back into place and reinstall the connector. On the tail end of the lanyard, we'll slide the red cover back into place and reinstall the plastic screw. The final step of the inspection process is to don a harness and do a function check and ensure the device operates properly under full body weight. It should lock and not move on the rope. These were just a few tips on the proper inspection procedure for your Grion lanyard. For complete information, please visit Petzl.com for the tech tips, tech notices, and also the inspection procedure.